Hypersonic weapons are useful at the onset of battle when they can attack an opponent's high-value targets including air defense radars, fighter bases, missile batteries, and command and control facilities. They pose immense strategic and tactical dilemmas and they exceed hypersonic speeds which is more than five times the speed of sound as they plunge through the atmosphere towards their targets. Today, the Buzz would like to present the 12 main hypersonic weapons of the future, so stay tuned. So, firstly, we have the DFZF. This is a Chinese hypersonic light vehicle. The DFZF is designed to be mounted on a DF-17, a type of ballistic missile specifically designed to carry HGVs. The DFZF is thought to reach speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10, and the glider could be used for nuclear weapons delivery but also could be used to perform precision strike conventional missions which could penetrate the layered air defenses of a US carrier strike group. Hypersonic glider vehicles are less susceptible to anti-ballistic missile countermeasures than conventional re-entry vehicles. Up next is the Perseus missile, which is a stealth hypersonic cruise missile concept study being undertaken by MBDA. The unique feature of this weapon allows a single Perseus to either strike several targets in the same general area or to strike a single large target in several different areas simultaneously with the aim of maximizing damage. The stealthy Perseus missile concept is planned to have capabilities similar to BrahMos with a range of 300 km reaching speeds of Mach 5. The 14X is a Brazilian hypersonic light vehicle under development by the Aerothermodynamics and Hypersonics of the Institute for Advanced Studies and the Brazilian Air Force. It is equipped with a liquid hydrogen-powered scramjet engine launched by a VSB-30 rocket reaching 100,000 feet of altitude and a maximum speed of Mach 10. The technology is considered by Brazil as one of the most efficient means of accessing space in the near future and could be used to place satellites in orbit and make suborbital flights. It can also be used in other areas such as the development of intercontinental ballistic missile or in civil aviation. Up next is the ASN-4G, which is a planned nuclear-armed hypersonic cruise missile intended to replace the ASMPA missile. The ASN-4G is being developed by the Ariane Group and is planned to be operational by 2021. The aim is to design a missile capable of hypersonic speeds that is Mach 7 to 8. The ASN-4G could be fitted to the Rafale fighter jet and the requirement is for a missile range much greater than 1,000 km. Up next, we have the HST-DV. This is an unmanned scramjet demonstration aircraft for hypersonic speed flight. It is being developed as a carrier vehicle for hypersonic and long-range cruise missiles and will have multiple civilian applications including the launching of small satellites at low cost. The HST-DV program is being run by the Defense Research and Development Organization. The eventual target is to reach Mach 6 at an altitude of 32.5 km. Up next, we have the Deep Strike Missile, which is a next-generation long-range surface-to-surface precision strike missile being developed by Raytheon Company for the U.S. Army. The Deep Strike PRSM possesses increased capabilities over its counterparts. It will deliver improved capabilities to attack, neutralize, suppress, and destroy targets at depth on the battlefield. It is primarily intended to attack stationary ground targets such as helicopter staging areas and hardened bunkers. Up next, we have the Shoria missile, which is a canister-launched hypersonic surface-to-surface -surface tactical missile developed by the Indian Defense Research and Development Organization for use by the Indian Armed Forces. It has a range of 700 to 1,900 kilometers and is capable of carrying a payload of 200 kilograms to one ton conventional or nuclear warhead. It gives the potential to strike at very long range against any adversary. After three successful tests, the missile is ready for production and induction into the Navy. It flew at a speed of 7.5 Mach. Up next is the AGM 183ARRW. This is a hypersonic weapon planned for use by the United States Air Force. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the missile has a reported maximum speed of Mach 20. 
It has been theorized to be the super-duper missile referred to by the President of the United States, Donald Trump, during a May 2020 press availability. The weapon uses a boost glide system in which it is propelled to hypersonic speed by a rocket on which it is mounted before gliding towards a target. Up next is the BrahMos-2, which is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under joint development by Russia's NPO National Stroyania and the India's Defense Research and Development Organization, which have together formed BrahMos Aerospace Private Limited. It is the second of the BrahMos series of cruise missiles, and the BrahMos-2 is expected to have a range of 450 km and a speed of Mach 7. Next, we have the Boeing X-51 Wave Rider. This is an unmanned research scramjet experimental aircraft for hypersonic flight at Mach 5 at an altitude of 21,000 meters. Wave Rider refers in general to aircraft that take advantage of compression lift produced by their own shock waves. The X-51 program was a cooperative effort by the United States Air Force, DARPA, NASA, Boeing and Pratt & Whitney Rocketdyne. X-51 technology is proposed for use in the high-speed strike weapon, a Mach 5 Plus missile which could enter service in the mid-2020s. Up next is Zircon. The Zircon missile is a scramjet-powered maneuvering anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile currently in testing by Russia. Zircon is believed to be a maneuvering winged hypersonic cruise missile with a lift-generating center body. Zircon can travel at a speed of Mach 8 to Mach 9. According to some sources, such high speeds would likely create a cloud of plasma around the missile, absorbing any radio waves and making the missile virtually invisible to radars. According to Russian media, the longest possible range of this missile is 540 nautical miles and for this purpose a new fuel was created. And lastly, we have the Lockheed Martin SR-72. This is an American hypersonic UAV concept intended for intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance proposed privately in 2013 by Lockheed Martin as a successor to the retired Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. The company expected SR-72 test vehicle could fly by 2023. With the growth of anti-satellite weapons, anti-access area denial tactics and counter-stealth technologies, it was thought that this high-speed aircraft could penetrate protected airspace and observe or strike a target before enemies could detect or intercept it. And that's it guys for today, we're winding up the video, but don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for viewing in, we'll see you next time, bye bye.